caught in a sting and running for cover. This the moment when amateur paedophile hunters confront a man they believe has been grooming children for sex. They are a new breed of vigilante, online and on the lookout. Why would somebody in their 40s want to be friends with a 12-year-old girl or a 12-year-old boy? They pose as underage girls and watch while innocent chat changes to grooming for sex. He's going to pay his compliments, try and find out whether we've got any issues in our life. Let's go hunting, say they're concerned parents. They insist on remaining anonymous, fearful of repercussions for them and their families. We, we don't encourage them to talk dirty, we don't encourage them to talk about sexual acts, and we don't encourage them to meet us. We just agree when they suggest things. It was at this Nottingham pub that the group met and confronted 24-year-old bar manager James Stone, caught on camera. Have you still got copies of these pictures? I believe so. Yeah, I'm sorry, I don't want to see them. I know you're looking for them. Okay, if, I, right. if I look at them, I'm looking at indecent images okay. of children. So. Um, at the time, you did realise that she was 15 years old? No. Was I, she... I thought she was 16. Well, she did tell you that she was 15, didn't she? The group says that their footage helped start a process which ends today here at Nottingham Crown Court, where James Stone has pleaded guilty to seven offences, including sexually abusing a child. The police say there is no such connection, and there are warnings that the actions of groups like Let's Go Hunting may cause more harm than good. It risks people panicking and possibly harming children as a result, possibly destroying evidence, possibly denying us the chance to investigate a whole web of activity in which they're involved, but also the risk of suicide among people whose activities of this nature are suddenly exposed goes up dramatically. That's an issue in sharp focus after 29-year-old Gary Cleary killed himself days after being confronted by Let's Go Hunting. They have offered sympathy to his family, but there's no apology for their campaign to track down and expose child abusers.